Today I'm going to show you how to work with green screen in DaVinci Resolve, but this time we're in the Fusion page. Let's take a look. In last week's tutorial, I showed you how to work with green screen in DaVinci Resolve, and we did it all in the color page. I showed you how to use the qualifier to select the green color, make sure that the whole background was gone so that you could turn around and add a new background to your video, and it was super easy. But a few of you commented on that video saying that you didn't understand why I taught it in the color page and that it was easier to do this in Fusion. So first, to clear things up, I wanted to teach the color page because some people are editing on computers that just don't work well with fusion some people are just scared of the fusion page and they don't want to jump in and i wanted to accommodate them so i showed them how to use the color page but this week this week we are jumping into the fusion page it's super easy super simple it's going to be even faster than what we did in the color page and honestly i think it produces better results with less work so with that being said let's jump into fusion and get started working with green screen all right let's do this we're in the edit page in davinci resolve 16 we're not actually doing anything here i just wanted to show you how i've got this set up and it's really simple i've just got a green screen clip of a woman and her baby the goal is to get rid of this green background and replace it with a nice little ocean scene. So let's go ahead and make sure that our clip is selected and head over to the Fusion page. And once that Fusion page is loaded up, you'll notice we've got media in and media out. The first thing that we want to do is get rid of this green background. And in order to do that, we need to add a Delta key here. So make sure that media in is selected. Go ahead and hit shift space. And we're going to type in Delta. Go ahead and select the Delta keyer and hit add. And then with the Delta keyer node selected, let's move over to our inspector. We're gonna grab the eyedropper next to background color and we're gonna drag it over our image. And you'll see that the eyedropper has detected all of the green in the image and it has removed it. So that's pretty much it. That's how we remove the background in a green screen. Next thing to do is add in our new background. So let's grab our little ocean scene from the media pool and drag that into the nodes. Actually gonna do a little bit of reorganizing here. I'm gonna shrink that down a bit, move media into over here. And now let's select our Delta keyer and then we're gonna hit the merge button. And what we want to do is have the media in two, which is our ocean scene going into the background of the merge and our media in one and Delta key are going into the foreground of the merge. So we need to get rid of this line just by clicking on it. And then we're going to drag media in two over to the background of the merge. And then we're going to drag our Delta key to the foreground of the merge. And you'll notice that we do have our ocean scene behind the woman and her child. The problem is the media in one, that woman and her child, that was a 4K clip and our background is a 1080p clip. So we actually need to shrink down media in one. In order to do that, we're gonna just slide this Delta key over a little bit, select media in one, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the transform button. And with the transform node selected, we're gonna come over to our inspector, over to size, and we're just gonna bring that down to 0.5. Hit enter. Go ahead and save our project, move back to the edit page. And now if I play that back, we've got a nice scene of a woman and her child getting their picture taken right in front of the ocean. Now, like I said, if you're not ready to jump into Fusion or if your computer doesn't work well with Fusion, that's okay. There is a way to do this in the color page. If you wanna learn more about that, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you found this useful and you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.